All right, I drew some of my family members who like to bass fish for Christmas, and I'm throwing together some little Christmas bass tackle boxes. So, wanted to show you what I've got, and uh, I've used every single thing in in these boxes except for one. And I'll tell you what that is. And both of the boxes are going to be the same um, outside of one. But let me know if this is something that, as a bass fisherman, you would be interested in. And if you have someone who you've drawn for Christmas and you think this could be helpful to them, uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas, and I can kind of cover the cost of it all at the end. All right, so I've got the first box filled up, and I'll show you what all I did. Uh, they're pretty much the same, but I'll cover the differences and uh, let you know what all I put in. So to start out, um, <clears throat> one of the fishermen that I uh, drew for Christmas this year, they're a huge fan of creek fishing adventures. And so uh, I keep asking them, like, hey, have you tried the Helgramite? Have you tried the Crawl? They haven't. So I got them a pack of the uh, Crawl and Eclipse. I love this color personally and the Helgramite. Uh, and this is the natural color. So I'm gonna throw those in. Of course, if you're gonna have those, you gotta have something to throw it on. Um, so I got the uh, Finesse Bullet Z in 1 10th ounce. Uh, that's what John from Creek Fishing Adventures says that he uses, and I've used it some, and it works. Uh, so throwing those in, which by the way, uh, I'm sure my channel, this video is probably only gonna get like seven views outside of myself but uh merry christmas to john his code is creek 10 if you go to nico's website you can get 10 percent off on those uh and then to fish the crawls i got a couple of tungsten jig heads um i like a 1 8 ounce bass pro was out of the tungsten ones um so i got three 30 second ounce so throw in two packs of those um like i said at the end i'll cover the cross uh the cost of all this um but a lot of these things you can see I'm doubling up on, so you can easily cut this in half if you're uh, if you're worried about the budget. Um, so the next thing um, I did is actually where are we looking next? Is stick baits. So I've got an assortment of stick baits. Uh, so here's some yum dingers, um, and then I've got some higher priced ones. So threw in a pack of Senkos. This is the good stuff. Um, this is the more budget friendly stuff. If you're not sure what to get someone in any of these baits. If you're buying for someone, first color, green pumpkin, or sometimes they might just say natural color, and that's a good start. So, Cinco's five inch yum dingers, these are, I think they're five inch, should say somewhere. I'm guessing yum five dingers, five inch, and then some KBD Ocho's. I've had one of my best days ever on these. This is watermelon red flake, and then I got a pack of these shimmy sticks. So, four packs of stick baits, man. They're making out good. Um, to throw those, one of the things I've got super obsessed with in the last couple of years is wacky rigging stick baits. So I typically use the uh, Gamagatsu uh, 2 aught octopus hook, but all my local stores were out of those. So I saw these 6 cents one aught sizes, and I like the shape on these. I don't like the one on the octopus um, hooks because they're not very wide. But let me see if I can show this. These are a little bit um, wider, and I like the shape of them. And they typically smallmouth fish more than they largemouth. So I thought the one out size might be perfect. So two packs of those. Um, got a pack of these three yacht red uh, extra wide gap hooks. If they want to rig them that way. <clears throat> and then uh, a bait that I've gotten more confidence in than anything over the last year or two is, you guessed it, if you've watched any of my, you know, three videos, is the Ned Rig. And the two colors that I have absolutely slayed on has been the Green Pumpkin and the TRD Tickler, and then the PB&J in regular. I caught, I hooked into the only double-digit largemouth I've ever caught using this, couldn't land him, in a uh, chartreuse head, which I'm going to throw in a few of those. Um, didn't land it. Anytime he got close, he pulled out the drag on my reel. I was using a pretty light setup. I couldn't hold it. I had it cranked down all the way, and he kept ripping it out. At first, I thought I was uh, in a big catfish, because I know that there's catfish in the pond that he was in. And uh, But he came up twice, and definitely a largemouth. The biggest fish I've ever hooked into couldn't land. So. Um, but love the TRD ticklers and the regular ones. Um, and then saw these on the clearance bin in the Walmart. So I got some of the Yamamoto Ned Cinco floaters. And I've had a lot of good luck with this electric shad color. So I thought I would throw those, those in if they want to upsize. Uh, to rig those on, like I said, I've got a couple packs of 
uh, Ned heads for fishing the Ned rig. Using these Ned Locks EWG heads are the way to go. But I couldn't find any in a smaller size. I usually like the 1 10th ounce, so I got some of the regular ones in the 1 10th. Maybe they're going to hang up and break off. But, um, got a book, got a book. Let's see, got like well, almost five minutes. So the other thing is that I threw in each box is I threw in um, some Bitsy Bug jigs. So one of each color, black and blue, green pumpkin. Um, these are like under $2 a piece. So a lot of this stuff, uh, there's a couple of items that really jacked up the price. Um, but a lot of this stuff is really cheap, like less than five bucks a pack. Like these are under two bucks a piece. And then speaking of one of those items, uh, you wouldn't be a bass fisherman if you haven't heard of the Whopper Plopper. So I got it in the 75. Um, they didn't have perch color, which is what I typically throw. That being said, I don't put a whole lot of stock into color, um, as long as it's generally lighter or generally dark, darker. So um, these boxes are pretty much the same. Like I said, the only thing I haven't tried in these boxes are the uh, Six Cents Wacky Style Hooks. I usually use the Gamagatsu, so I picked up a pack or two for them. Don't tell the wife. Uh, I'm gonna try those out in a one-aught size. Um, they didn't have any two bot, like I said. And then the other one, we got the other person I drew a fishing reel last year. I went in with someone and we got him a Shimano Nasi. And uh, so I got them, <clears throat> I got them some line to spool it up with. Um, and this person I just threw in another pack or two of cheap stick baits to kind of offset the cost. But this box right here, when I added all this up, now this is pre-tax, but it's not including like the discount or anything, but it was roughly, roughly right at $100. And then like this, <clears throat> so that's like 15 bucks right there for the Whopper Plopper. You could throw that out. A lot of these things I doubled up on. You could throw them out. Like the stick baits, the Senkos are going to be like 8 or 10 bucks a pack. And you're not going to get as many as some other brands. If you wanted to go cheaper, you could get the Bass Pro Stickos um, or any of those Strike King versions. But um, yeah, so would you be happy if I drew you for Christmas and you opened up and you got this... Um, at first, I just got them the Nico stuff and the jig hooks, and I was like, well, let me throw in some stick baits. And I was like, well, let me throw in a few jigs. Well, let me throw in. <laughs> and before I knew it, I kind of went a little bit overboard. But um, so you could pretty much cut this in half, easily get it down to 50 bucks. And anyone that bass fishes, um, I think would love this. I know that I would love it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see the look on their faces. So let me know what you think. Is there anything I missed out that I should have thrown in? Uh, anything you wouldn't have thrown in and then uh yeah if uh if it's christmas morning the snow's fallen if you opened up this box would you be happy all right thanks